So what I want to show you here real quick is how to set this up as a small business owner so that you can ping on, on search queries that matter to you. So real quick here, let's look at, um, let's just say I searched remodelers and hear me. What you're going to see, you got Bing ads up on the top, the cursed home advisor <laughs> trying to take your money from you. And then down here, you will see that you've got, um, these are Google my or Bing places and Bing Places uses Facebook reviews. So this is really important to do. Uh, people that just open up a Windows machine are gonna to wanna to know how to do it. So here's how you do it. You're gonna to go to Bing Places. So search Bing Places. Once you get Bing Places, you'll get logged in. You will have to create a Microsoft account. I just log in with my Google account often. Um, so here what we've got is there's a button where you can add a single business, okay? So in this instance, we're gonna add a single business and I know what we're going to be adding. <clears throat> and basically you can do this import data from Google My Business, which would actually pull up what's in Google My Business. It will sync, it actually works well. I've had good luck with that. If you're an agency like me and you have like 50 different um, Google My Businesses, it doesn't allow you to do very many. So if you have a bunch of them, you can't do that. Um, here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, we're gonna do new spaces and uh, this is a great company of mine. So you have to search for the company first. Um, maybe we'll do New Spaces Edina. Um, boom, let's search. And once we get this going, I'm gonna create a new business because they're not in there. Um, now there's a couple of really important things that you're gonna wanna do. This is gonna be New Spaces Edina. And I've got the information right over here. So we're just gonna hop through. We're gonna make sure that we've got the proper phone number in there. Um, so the phone number, we're gonna grab the address. So just bear with me here real quick. I'm gonna fast forward just a second. All right, so once we put that in, we're gonna hit next. And now it's gonna ask you to do a category for these guys. Um, they're a remodeling company. So we're gonna do professional services. We're gonna hit done. And then you're gonna be able to start adding your categories. Categories are really important. You don't wanna overcomplicate this. Do not put like 50 of them in there, just put a couple. So I know that I just did this for one other one. So remodeling, we've got kitchen remodeling. We've got remodeling, bathroom remodeling. It's kind of annoying, you gotta click in. So, and then we've got general contractor. Boom, and we've got home uh, general contractor. So you wanna make sure you think through your, your core commercial keywords here, right? Um, home builders, boom. Now we're gonna say the primary one for us is going to be kitchen remodeling. And I'm gonna take our description straight from our website so that there's some continuity here. You could definitely redo your own description, but get a, get a description in there that's meaningful. And then we're gonna hit next. Now the next thing is really important. Um, yes, we do deliver goods. And we're gonna pick our service area. So this is probably one of the more important things you're gonna to wanna to go through and think of the buckets of the cities around where you're going to actually um, work. I would do the cities and the counties. So we're gonna add that here and we'll just fast forward it. All right, so once we've got all those locations in there, we'll hit next and this is critically important. You have to make sure that you set up your email um, to be the proper email and once you get the email, you wanna make sure you put your Facebook URL in there. If you don't put your Facebook URL, you're gonna be kinda of screwed. You gotta make sure that you do that. That is incredibly important because that's where they're gonna pull your Google or your Facebook reviews for. So let's pull those up. After you get done with that, you're gonna to wanna to come here and upload a whole bunch of pictures. So let's browse for all the photos. The more photos you put up um, now and consistently, the better it's gonna be. So make sure that you do this. All right, so once you put up some photos and you get all your information in there, you're gonna actually have to verify where you are. And in this case, it's kind of interesting, the Google My Business had been um, approved on their other location. This is their second location down the road and it's asking to do the post. So it's actually gonna send a, a postcard. Um, so you'll want to get the postcard sent to you and then actually keep an eye on that. This is super important to get this verified. Don't forget about this. All right, so this was kind of interesting. Not only was there a post, but we can verify it by app. So I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. You install the Bing Places app on your phone. Uh, go download that right away. And then I'm gonna say, I will verify on the app. Um, and I can even show you here, I've opened up the app. I'm gonna open up, uh, whoop, we're gonna open up that guy. And we're gonna go do complete verification, which is right here in the middle. And what should happen is this should allow me to, oops. We're gonna get 
SMS. We're going to text him because he doesn't know that it's coming. So we're going to verify now. And he's going to be getting a text. And now comes the part where I have to call him and tell him that I'm texting him. So this will be real fun. All right, so once you've got that all confirmed and you've got the either the pin or you've done it with the app, what you're going to want to do is... Uh, Start using Bing Places. Make sure that you add photos into there. Remember that Google My Places and Bing Places are the two things that will be used for local SEO. So make sure that you do that. You know, there's a couple of other little tips that you can do here to help maximize um, this whole situation and to make sure that you're going to get the best ROI on what you put in. You know, um, one thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you have a services section for your page. So your pages should should all have kind of this ontology that shows, so we do web design, SEO, messaging and strategy or copywriting, and then uh, paid advertising or PPC, right? And throughout our site, we've got this ontology or this UI structure to show, you know, our core services, our paid search ads, and we mark those up. Another really important thing that you'll want to do is add what's called schema markup to your website. So there's a tool here called technicalseo.com and there's two types of schema that you wanna put in here. Um, at, at minimum, there's a local business schema and there's also a uh, an organizational schema. And the way you do this, so I'm just gonna show you real quick, you'd go to, um, the two of them are organization and local business. And what you'd wanna do is actually embed this as JSON JavaScript code on the home page, um, it could be in the header, but you're supposed to have it on your home page. You can also create one that would be on each services page. And then you'd want to do the organization one as well. And basically what happens is you would come in and say the organization type, more specific. And once you get this figured out, um, you know, I would just leave this as organization, feedback wrench, um, alternate name might be feedback wrench. So a different name that you're known about. So feedback wrench web design, SEO, and video production. And then you put your URL in here, right? So put your home page as the URL, and then you'd wanna find your actual logo. So you could come here and open image and new tab. You'd come to the new tab, you'd grab that logo. Um, and this isn't perfect. You'd wanna have an optimized logo, but here's a couple of interesting things. The reason why you wanna do the organization one is because we're gonna need um, some help with identifying who this is, right? So down here, you'll notice on your Google My Business, if you come to the bottom, you've got your YouTube, your Facebook. Well, why aren't some of the other profiles in there? Well, I've actually neglected this, this on my own page. Um, what you can do is you can come in and you would make sure that you connect and add all of your social profiles. So we'd say the Facebook, the Twitter, um, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, if you had a Pinterest, you could put that in there as well, and then uh, your overall website. And what you want to do is post the actual, you know, Facebook.com. Let me show you what this looks like. All right, so once I put all those in there, if you look, I've got like Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash feedback wrench. It's all of my profiles. I've done my LinkedIn and even put my website in the footer here. Um, there's a, an interesting little thing here. We can, we're going to want to copy this JSON or this script, but let's also test it in the Google um, structured data testing tool. So again, I'm just trying to help you guys understand how to get the signals lined up so that you will. So uh, if you look at this, um, it, it's giving us this idea that this organization is the same as that, 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 and that. Um, now we're going to deploy this. I'm going to show you how to do this in Webflow and also how you would be able to do this. Uh, forget WordPress. I don't even care. Well, maybe we'll hit up WordPress. Hold on just a second. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you, the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is put this um, code that we have um, from the schema. We're gonna take this, this script here, this JavaScript, and we're gonna put it into our homepage. That's the primary thing, and you're not gonna to wanna to put it or insert it in your header. You're gonna to wanna to put it in the page body. So in WordPress, which I despise WordPress um, for a number of reasons, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, get this insert headers and footers um, plugin I say that in Minnesotan enough, insert footers and headers. So this is how you do it. You're gonna take this, insert headers and footers. Um, once you get that, you're gonna to go to settings. You're gonna activate the plugin, download and install the plugin called insert headers and footers. <laughs> it looks just like this. And then what you'll do is you'll come over to settings and go to under settings, you get insert footers and headers, headers and footers. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to scripts and body and you would paste this scripts and body, hit save, and that will insert that. Now. 
What I showed you was this organization one. I would also encourage you, so I'm gonna copy this because I do want this because that's mine. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to do this in a couple other uh, like Squarespace and I'll talk about how to do this with the small local business one as well. All right, we're gonna jump into the Google Schema Validator real quick and just show you how this actually looks. So um, my site, before I even get it going here, we're gonna to go to um, feedbackranch.com and I'll, all I wanna do is show you what this looks like. So if I put our URL, this is called the Google Structured Data Testing Tool. There's a Google Schema Tester, there's a bunch of them. You can either paste in the code snippet that we showed you or put the URL and I just wanna show you how um, I've got the local business schema set up on my website, but I haven't put the, uh, the organization one in. So what you'll see over here is I've got the, uh, the, the schema markup for local businesses. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to real quick, I'm going to go into my homepage here and I'm going to place it down underneath this other script. So let's copy and paste it. And what, I'll show you is how this will validate a little bit differently um, and we'll have two scripts. It's not optimal to have two scripts being run every time, but I guess I'm not as smart as every other developer that's out there. I guess I wouldn't call myself a developer necessarily, but um, what you can see here is initially all we had was the local business one, but what's nice here is it is showing me a little bit of the same as we'll see what the organization one does. Um, <clears throat> once that's posted, we're good. Um, let's try it again. Let's see if it works. And we will go new test, run test, and let's see if we get two of them up here. It might have cached and it might not have gone through, but the idea is I usually put an organization and a local small business. So here's the organization one. We've got a little bit of duplication here, but all I'm trying to do is send the signals to Google that this is me. It also sends it to uh, Bing, which is important. So make sure you do that. Um, another couple of quick tips is Remember that whenever you get going here, you're gonna to wanna to, um, go to your search console and make sure that you submit your websites to your search consoles. Um, if you can add your, your website, you come into search console, you go to property, you go to add property, and it will actually crawl the website. Um, the other thing that you'd wanna do is you've got Bing Webmaster. That's another SEO tool that you wanna submit it to make sure. So get your site submitted to Bing Webmaster, get submitted to, uh, the Google Webmaster Tools, open up your Bing Places, your Google My Business. I'd say the last thing real quick is um, Apple Maps. Uh, you'll have to open this up on a, uh, so if you search Apple Maps Business, I think is what it is, all of a sudden some Maps Connect, you would actually sign in and you can submit your business to Apple Maps. So those are the, the most basic ways to get you set up on Bing on a Windows machine and to help your local my, or Google My Business, whatever that looks like. Guys, like and subscribe if this is helpful. Let me know any other things you'd like help with. Um, this works for local services really well. God bless, good luck, I appreciate the view, take care.